in a recent series of videos, I did I did three videos where I kind of outlined um, my thoughts on some of the different polls that I've put up and, and responding to, to what you guys were saying. And I really, really enjoyed that process. But I also found that each video was just too long. So what I've decided to do from here on out is whenever there's a, a poll that I think would just make for a good video, I'm just going to have a video about one or two polls, not try to get like a whole month's worth of polls in, in one video. I do like these, though, because I feel like generally I've said this before, but in, in YouTube videos, there's a lot of one way communication, me just talking to you. But I, I like how the community polls can create a bit more back and forth, a bit more like kind of a conversational element. And I've said many times, you know, one of the things I really love about sports cards is the community aspect of it. And I feel like in order for the YouTube space to feel like a community, it needs more of this back and forth kind of stuff. And this is one of the ways I, I'm trying. So in this one, I'm going to be talking specifically about probably just one, maybe two of the polls, and then I'll have a, a, other videos about some of the other ones. So this particular video, I'm going to be talking about one of the poll topics that is kind of just a fun one, a funny one, you know, as I, as you know, you know, if you've been following this channel, I, I live in China. And being that I live in China, I oftentimes hear or, or learn about the Chinese nickname of different NBA players. And sometimes these can be hilarious the way that you if you translate it directly from Chinese into English. So I made a poll asking people what they thought was the best Chinese nickname for an NBA player if you translated it into English and these are just for fun this is just a lot of fun so let me go through in the poll I could only choose five because that's how many you can do in YouTube I could only choose five but I did make a list of them 50% of those responding said Steph Curry's nickname Sky Beeper is <laughs> was the number one best and I agree actually Steph Curry has two different nicknames that are both kind of funny one is Sky Effer and one is God of Cute hilarious 20% said Giannis's was the best his his nickname if you translate it from Chinese is alphabet brother <laughs> which has everything to do with the length of his name Russell Westbrook and Scottie Pippen both tied for third with 12% Russell Westbrook is dude awesome and Scottie Pippen is second best under heaven of course you know referring to Michael Jordan being first best under heaven under heaven you know something under heaven is a common phrase in Chinese but means everything in the world basically and then Steve Nash was fifth was son of the wind now I just wanted to, to list I'll, I'll put these up I, I'm gonna stare at my computer screen here so I'll probably put up some photos here but I just wanted to list some of the other ones just for fun this is nothing except fun but some of these are so interesting Anthony Davis is thick eyebrows okay straightforward LeBron is little emperor so this has something to do with you know being the king Manu Ginobili is the demon blade which is really cool I think that one had something to do with the the sound his name makes you know if you say it, it with with Chinese characters Shaq is is giant shark clay thompson is the buddha and that one had something to do with his his calm demeanor and in a similar one i think i think before that tim duncan he was called the stone buddha and that also was for us the same kind of reason like somebody who's always kind of calm uh, and, and stoic charles barkley is the flying pig <laughs> so that's something to do with his weight Michael Jordan is mafia boss. I, I don't know for sure the background of that. I don't know if it has something to do with Chicago and it's kind of its history with mafia. And I'm not sure. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of assuming it has something to do with that, but that is his nickname. Dirk Nowitzki has a couple of different nicknames. One is the German Panzer Tank and one is the Driver. I think the Driver has something to do with, with how, how his name sounds like when it's said in Chinese. I, I think I can't recall. Tony Parker is the little French sports car. It's, it's much shorter and more concise in Chinese, but that's how it would be translated. Dr. J is J PhD as just said like that in, in English J PhD so it's basically Dr. J but it's just PhD at the end Kevin Garnett because he was on the Timberwolves for so long is called King of the Wolves Tristan Thompson is called King of Eights this had something to do with because he got like an 80 million dollar contract at one point when he was averaging eight points and eight rebounds eight is also like a, a lucky number in China so I think yeah, that probably was part of the reason why as well Tyron Lu's nickname is tactical genius they must like him Kobe Bryant is young air I like that it makes a lot of sense actually you have air Jordan and they have Kobe as young air makes sense I, I'm sure that probably was given to him as a nickname when he first came into the league I'm guessing Larry Bird is show off one and Dwayne Wade is show off two what those two names have to do with each other how how it went from Larry Bird to, to Dwayne Wade I'm not quite sure but funny Draymond Green is dream chaser okay and then the other ones we already saw so anyway I thought these were just just plain fun I'm sure there's other ones you know if I come across some interesting ones I mean no it doesn't seem like people really care that much but I find them funny so I'm gonna share them with you anyway here and there so uh, what, what what was some of your favorites among this list I thought these were just fun and funny so any any stand out to you as particularly funny let us know in the comments below. Hope you enjoyed it. Peace.